Receipt, as soon as he throws that, pop, boom. Okay. When I'm throwing the cross, what makes me punch so effective is Now this is super advanced again guys, this isn't for the beginning. coach and okay so this will be the end of this little angle series thing that I was trying to put together for you guys so I gave you guys um, a few different things I gave you guys the one two side step cross so let me go ahead and demonstrate if you didn't see the video you need to go into my uh, website I mean not my website you need to go back to the previous videos and punch in you know how to side step okay and um, then the other one will be how to angle or whatnot so I should have them linked up over here somewhere at the end of this video, all right? I'm starting to get a little bit more savvy with this YouTube thing. But anyway, the first one that I demonstrated a few days ago was a one, two, side step to the right, right? So it was one, two, side step, two, right? I explained on that video why you do it, how you do it, etc. No need to do it again, okay? If you want to see that, you go to that video. The other video that I did was angling off, right? Where we pivoted, bang, remember that one? Or we took the step, bang, bang, okay? Which puts you in a nice position to get off to the angle. I fully explained that. So now what we're going to do is move forward and we're gonna combine the two. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I like to demonstrate and teach this way anyway. In boxing, you learn different techniques, right? and then you build upon them. You can blend in different techniques with each other, you know what I mean? They all integrate together. And that's the beautiful thing about boxing, you know? Boxing is in reality simple, but difficult at the same time. I love to say that because the moves are, there's only so many punches you could do in boxing. There's only so many combinations you could do in boxing. There's only so many ways you could defend. But at the same time, the way you get creative is by taking one of these things and adding it to these things and doing this and doing that. So that's how you always get these fighters who do different moves and you're just like, oh, that was dope how he put those two things together. Oh, that was pretty interesting how he did that. So, you know, this is one of those situations where you put two things together. So, I'm gonna go one, two, side step, two, three, angle, five, okay? And, I'll explain to you why. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit faster. So I'm here. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, one more time. Maybe get it over here a little bit. All right. Pop, 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 pop. One more time, a little bit faster. Pop, 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 pop. Now what am I doing? Just putting two things together, right? So I hit him. Bang, bang. He's here, he covered up. As he's covered up, now I'm stepping to the side. I hit him with a right hand, left hook, because from here, there's a hole there, right? Boom, hole up the middle, boom. Now, as I get hit, I don't wanna sit here, so I turn. When I turn, my opponent turns again. So it's one, two, two, three. So when he turns, now I turn. Okay, gives me an angle again. If you can't envision that, Leave a comment below because then I could go ahead and have one of my fighters. We could do it on the mitts for you guys too, okay? That could be a future video. But if you do have a box in IQ and you can envision it, let me break that down one more time. You hit the guy with the one, two. He covers up. You step to the right. You find the hole. Right hand here, left hook here. As I get hit, I realize you're off to the side. I don't wanna stay here. I turn. When I turn, he turns again, which in turn puts him onto the side, which leaves him right here, a shot here, a shot here. Pop, pop, he's covering up. Whoop, pop, pop, he turns. Whoop. Sorry, you turn, I got another combination for you. That's how you hit a heavy bag, you do things like that. You focus on things that you can actually do in a perfect situation. When you are shadow boxing, when you are hitting the heavy bag, you are literally, okay, doing, uh, 
training your fundamentals the only time you're not going to get hit back. The heavy bag doesn't hit back, and in shadow boxing, you don't get hit back. So let's just say I'm demonstrating the shadow boxing. I'll do it right here for you guys. Pop, 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 pop. All right, so if I'm boxing, boop, 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 having fun. Pop, 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 pop. See, I just did the pivot that time. It doesn't matter. But my thing is, you are in a situation where your working situation and stuff, best case scenario. So I get to work on my skills, best case scenario. Best case scenario means I'm not getting my ass beat, right? Pardon my French. I'm not getting beat up because I'm not boxing anybody, but I still get to work on my craft. I gotta have an imagination. So that's when you do it. Do it on the heavy bag. Don't be one of these guys who just wail the bag. Put yourself in situations, work angles, work head movement, work feints, use a jab, make believe they're punching back at you and slipping, rolling, do different things. This is how you become creative. When a coach coaches you, we give you the tools. Think of it like you're a painter or artist, right? That's what fighters are in reality, we're artists in a way. I give you all the paint brushes, I give you everything, you draw your own picture. I can't draw the picture for you. You're still the fighter, but I'm giving you everything you need to draw the picture. That's what coaching is and that's what fighters have to do. So just keep that in mind in your training, you know what I mean? And that's basically it, man. I wanna say I appreciate the love, support. Coach Anthony Boxing, I got three instructionals on there. Counter punching, Philly show, okay? Philly show and footwork. The footwork video is really geared toward beginners, right? But let me tell you something. You don't need all these fancy things for footwork even as an advanced fighter, okay? You just need the fundamentals for footwork. You're not dancing salsa. You're not doing all these complicated things. You need to understand how to move forward, back, left, right, laterally, okay? Learn how to step, conserve energy. Um, so don't start thinking you need all these complicated things. That's another story, okay? But um, I'm very, very uh, proud of my work, and I think you guys will like it too. So make sure you go to the website, check that out, and I got more stuff coming for you guys. Boxing life. The receipt, as soon as he throws that, pop, boom. Okay. When I'm throwing the cross, what makes me punch so effective is. <laughs> Now this is super advanced again guys, this isn't for the beginning.